Hello and welcome to another episode of Dunster House TV. Today we are visiting Helen and her business HQ. With a large garden, Helen decided that there was no better place to start her business and that's when she found the Medetro Log Cabin. Hello, my name is Helen Kent. Um, I live in South Wales uh, with my husband and two grown up boys. I came to a point in my life that I could expand my own um, little sideline hobby into something more of a business. Um, we've got space in the garden, well, I'm very lucky. So we decided to go down the log cabin route, partly because it was cost effective and partly because it's pretty, it's attractive, it's not a, a big lock building stuck in the garden that's going to, you know, upset when we have a barbecue outside. I wanted something that would, you know, go into the natural garden um, and fit within the landscape, but also not be too obtrusive in front of the house. Um, when it arrived, um, they delivered it on a truck, flatbed, and it looked like a huge game of Jenga out on the car park. I did think, oh, how, what have I done? You know, <laughs> I bought this log cabin, what am I going to do with it? How are we going to fix it, you know, and actually build it? But following the instructions, it was actually amazingly easy. I, I say easy, it was. We actually worked through it and the cabin is, is built. We were really impressed with how it was delivered. And it, it certainly gave us a sense of achievement to think, yeah, actually we built this. Um, and it's, it's changed how I, I run my business and how I can take that forward. I've got six individual workstations within the cabin and you know, I've had it um, all the electrics put in, so each state workstation has sufficient electrics to be able to run without having to bend down on the floor. Um, it's got good light, it's got good ventilation. Obviously, COVID has to play a, a part in, in how I run the workshop. And so having the, the four windows and the double doors was a bonus, able to keep them open through workshops to ensure good ventilation. Um, and I think it's quite a cosy feel having a log cabin. The extension part of the cabin is where I actually keep my workstation as such. And it's good to have a place to actually work on my designs, to be inspired by the nature around me. I'm sat here now and the window is right in front of me. I've got a lovely view out through the garden. So when I work, it's just, you know, it's really lovely to be able to come out of the house in my own environment, my own office, and also I'm able to run my own at home. The uses are endless um, and, it, and it could be easily changed very quickly. And so, you know, I love the adaptability of having the log cabin and it just looks so lovely. And that's it for another episode of Dunster House TV. Join us again next week as we go and explore another customer's garden. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss an episode. 